delete your dating apps. I may be one of the few coaches in the world that are actually saying this. And this is something that I'm doing with the men inside my powerhouse man training. We're taking a whole different approach, a natural approach to dating. So if you're a single man and you want to be able to attract an awesome relationship, I'm going to share with you in this video how you can do that with no Tinder and no plenty of fish and no whatever, whatever's out there and get back to a natural, harmonious way of dating that's actually gonna bring you a fulfilling relationship. Let me share. Hi, my name is Nikula Daz, and I help men master their S3X energy so you can become a powerhouse both in and outside the bedroom. Go to the link in the description below and take the free S3X transmutation guide. There's a specific video in that free training I put together called the five P's of masculinity. And when you turn up these five P's in your life, you're going to be able to attract an amazing relationship. I'm getting men inside of my program to get off dating apps. Most coaches are doing the opposite. Most coaches, I got a guy, a student right now coming through my program. And, uh, you know, he's worked with several other coaches. And he said, Nakula, this is so different. He said, because some of the other coaches, you know, they're treating it like sales. Okay, how many approaches did you make this week? How many dates did you go on? How many times did you swipe left? That's how I approach sales, by the way. That is a sales strategy, right? Sales is numbers. It's a numbers game. I make reach outs. I do meetings. I show people my program and a certain percentage of the guys who are ready, willing, and able, they come in and join me. That's how you generate sales. That is not how you attract a partner and a meaningful relationship. So we did, we came up with this thing called the no dating app strategy, the anti-dating app strategy, which states that number one, you work on yourself. I've got another student, actually, I was just on a coaching call with him yesterday. And, you know, he was talking about like just dating and, you know, he's just out of a relationship and he's kind of, you know, just going around doing the playboy thing, right? But yet on his vision board, because a part of the program, the first thing you do, by the way, to get rid of any vice or negative habits, you have to have a vision. You have to have a clarity about where you're going. So that's the first thing that we do in the powerhouse man training. So I said to him, what's your vision? And he said, my vision is to have a wife and a family. He wants a wife and kids. I said, great. So if you had a wife and kids, would you be around dating and being the playboy? And he laughed and he said, no. I said, so here's the deal. Here's how attraction works. When I say attraction, I'm not talking S3X attraction. I'm talking the law of attraction or the way that we attract things into our life. Magnetic pulls. You attract what you are and there's no getting around that. You can lie and you can play a story and you can play games, but energy doesn't lie and energy doesn't play stories. So here's the deal. You attract what you are. So I said to him, you got to be the man now that has the wife and kids before you attract it so that you're in that vibrational frequency so that you're actually going to attract a good woman to you. You have to be the man that deserves a good woman. Now, if you're not single and you're watching this and you think, well, how can I improve my relationship? Become a good man. And here's what's going to happen. Either vibrationally, something will happen and you'll break up because it's no longer a match, or you will help both of you become better people. One of the two options will happen. You are out of control of what happens with the other person, but you are always in control of what happens with you and who you're going to be in this world. So develop yourself and then meet people organically. Go to parties or, and, and by the way, I, I said to this, to, to, to the guy I was talking to yesterday, I said, the, describe the type of woman you want to have, you know, loyal and feminine and wants to have a house and wants to be supportive. I said, you think she's on uh, Tinder swiping left and right? <laughs> he started laughing. He's like, no, nah, probably not. It's like, yeah. I said, so if you want to catch a shark, but you're putting out bait for little fish, don't be mad when you catch little fish. I said, you're becoming resentful to women because you're like, there's no good women. I was like, you're not hanging out in a place where there's good people. 
You can't be on these apps and be and start to trick yourself about these are good people. No, they're not. That's why they're on those apps. Because they're in the hookup culture and they're in the exploitation culture. So don't fool yourself. Look at the world through the eyes of energy. It doesn't lie. It just is what it is. So if you want to attract a healthy, like if you want to go hook up and just bang women and all that stuff, then great. You know, Tinder it up and whatever it up. Like you don't probably not watching this video anyways. If you're watching this video, my guess is you actually want something meaningful. You want to build something. You're into family life. You want to have something that actually doesn't just fulfill your, your dick, excuse my crude language, but also your heart and your soul. You want to be a man of morals and value. You want to be on your deathbed and be like, look at my kids or look at my grandkids or look at the things that I've left in this world. Look at the businesses I've built. Look at the legacy. And you want to be right with God. So that when your time is up, you're like psh, conscious free, baby. That's how you want to die. You don't want to die with anything on your consciousness. Anyways, that's for another video. The point is meet people organically. There was a time where to meet someone, you had to meet them in your neighborhood. You had to meet them at school or at work. You went to a family event and somebody brought a friend and was like, hey, you got people to connect you with other good people. You weren't just swiping, 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 trying to go through numbers. This is so unnatural. And it also trains you to not get committed because anytime something happens, you're just like, oh, well, I could just go meet a thousand women more. And that's what's happening with both men and women. Oh, well, I just meet another guy. I'll just meet another man. I'll just meet another woman. Swipe, swipe, swipe. You go on a few dates. You like them. You hook up. Then all of a sudden you find out, oh, you know, they've, they, they've got some character flaw, something that doesn't resonate with you. And you're like, oh, I can't have that. Move, move on. So you never develop the quality of commitment, persistent. You never develop in your, in your character to be able to grow and grow together and develop something which is going to bring way more joy, meaning in your life as you get older. You know, I look at some dudes in their 40s and their 50s and their 60s and they're still swiping and they're still this. It's pathetic. Like what, who have you become that that's your life? You got to think about the choices you've made and the type of person you are. So get out of the dating apps. Go back to the natural way of dating, working on yourself as a man, developing your income, developing your career, knowing who you are as an individual, being good, whether you're in a relationship or not. That way, when you come to a relationship, you can give and not take. A relationship is a place where you come to give. Hey, I can add to your life. I can provide. I can protect you. I can give you experiences. You know, as men, when we're first dating someone and we really are into a woman, that's how we're like, right? We're like, hey, I can, I'm going to set up date night and I'm going to do this for you and I'm going to do that for you. And she loves it. But now we're in the whole, what can you do for me thing? If she don't, she doesn't do nothing for me, I'll cut her out. You're just a boy. You're just a kid. You haven't matured. What can you bring to the table? And as you bring up your own value, you're healthy, you're financially stable, you're living vice-free, you've got high character, high values, you live those values. Well, guess what? Then God, the universe, will arrange the meeting of a good woman. And you won't have to go on a million dates. You allow her to naturally come into your life and because you're a man of high standards and morals, she will get that. She will respect that. And she won't because if she's not, she'll be repelled by you or she'll mess it up or you'll mess it up. Something will happen. So you never have to think about her or give her your power to her when you're in the dating. That's what it means by not giving your power to women. But don't misunderstand that to mean you're not there to be kind and serve women, to provide and protect. And that doesn't mean that you can't check in with yourself and be like, who am I? You know, it's one thing to look at women and be like, they need to be all these things. But are you the type of man to attract or help a woman develop into that? Because that's actually our duty as men. If you're willing to try something different, if you want to 
take a different approach to dating, a more natural approach, a healthy approach. You want to get out your comfort zone and you want to learn to talk to women in a way that's actually fulfilling, then make sure you reach out. Book some time on my calendar. I'll show you the powerhouse man process. We could talk about your goals, what it is that you want. And I can share with you how this process can help you achieve it. It's a right fit. We'll move forward. If it's not a right fit, no problem. I promise you, you'll still get value out of a call with me. Everyone does. Go take the free S3X transmutation guide as a starting point. Make sure you subscribe to the channel. Hit the bell to get notified. Never miss a video. I'll see you on the next one.